E, mambo vipi ladies and gentlemen karibuni ndani ya mkenya marekani happy new year from kenya marekani maze hope mkopoa niko mahali panaitwa boston niko ndani ya airport eh hope mkopoa mmekula mwaka namna gani bana today nataka tuongelelee mambo ya airport kidogo wasiudi potiwa sana wasiudi potiwa huku mbaya sana angalia kule mimi naenda kuabiri ndege hii. Eh, Kiswahili mufti, kuabiri ndege hii B36 hapa. Eh, Boeing. By the way Boeing zitatengenezwa Washington. Eh, ndio jiji kuu la Boeing. So kuna mambo mabwi wase ufanyikia hapa airport. Unaona Canon lakini ya wingi. Eh? Hata naweza watembeza tembeza kidogo kwanza. So um Ah, acha ni acha ni baki tu hapa kwa sababu probably ya security. Um Wasi udipotiwa hapa airport kwa nini? Kwanza kudipotiwa. Udipotiwa ni kuonekana umeingia Amerika kwa njia ya kulagai. Ulagaifu si si vizuri ukiingia Amerika. Yeah. So number one ni kama inaonekana whatever you answered on your DS 160 ayambatani na chenye unaulizwa hapa kwenye airport for example unapatiwa ngo visa pale Nairobi ama whatever airport i mean embassy umeenda so hiyo si final final ni ukiingia kwenye airport watakuuliza same question but in a tricky way anaweza kukuuliza swali tu moja yenye uliuliza Nairobi lakini haigeuze kidogo so that aone kama utaijibu correctly yeah, for example anaweza uliza kitu kama um, uh, Nairobi probably uliuliza how how long will you be staying alafu kuwakuambie how many days are you staying uchanganikiwe uanze kukosa kujua yeah? ama uonekane wewe ni msanii umebeba CDs merchandise eh yeah? Waone unakuja biashara na ulikuwa umesema unakuja mission ama ukuje na bidhaa ambazo hazifai kubebwa kwenye airport kuna vitu mingi sana hazifai kubebwa kwenye airport by the way yeah. ama sometimes eh, host wako waseme ya kujui hmm. kutumia mpata situation kama hizo eh. host wako anasema ah huyo mtu simjui eh, so wana ushindo wewe unaenda wapi basi kama unjulikani na mali unaenda another thing ni Eh, biashara kuchapa biashara US. Eh? Ukionekana unakuja kufanya biashara US na umekuja na visa tuseme ya B1, B2. Mostly yoni ina maanisha ni weni tourist ama umekuja uh, umekuja maybe mazishi, umekuja harusi, umekuja hizo vitu zote. Ina maanisha haujakuja business. Ya? Yeah? So hizo vitu ushikisha watu white ball hapa ndani ya airport. Unaona kana ndio hii eh? Hii airport by the way tuko Boston. Hapa ni Boston, hii ndio international airport. Kuna watu wengine wanaweza toka out of the country waland hapa. This is a very very huge airport. Eh? Ndani ya Boston. Ile ndio pale juu ndio tower. Eh? Mnara wa Babeli upo pale juu. Eh? So hii ni airport moja big sana kwa hapa ndani. So Oh, nikuona sikiza matangazo hapo hivyo. So mazi, ukikuja ukikuja uh, uh, America, kwanza kitu kingine, usitangazia watu unaenda. Usipige myself hiyo and uanze kuitia na chai na uja hata uja, uja ingia kwa ndege. Na kuingia kwa ndege si kufika America. Kufika hapa kwa airport, alafu uende ufike huko nje. Eh? Huh? Hiyo sasa ndio umeingia Amerika. Eh? Unatulia, unatulia na kama pia una kemboi bana my friend. Pia cheza chini. Eh? Sikuwe siku unatangazia kila mtu maana si kila mtu anakutakiaga kila laheri. So always keep it low. Yeah, keep it low. Wasi wasijue, wasi wasijue ni, ni shughuli gani unafanya. Cuz always jua. Always jua. Acha niende ile side nyingine nione kama kuna vitu mnaweza ona let me pause first uh, so sunaona 
ni ya pot moja bigi sana na hii ni pot tu pot kwa kiasi so hapa hivi ndio mnaingiliaga mnaenda pale kwenye ndege ah, kuna different types za huku local local flights and by the way local flight hauhitaji hauhitaji any ya yeah, local flight hauhitaji any any passport unahitaji tu ka ID ka ID pekee ya yeah, kwa sababu ya security ya yeah, kwa sababu ya security sitaki nishikiwa sea alafu wale wakuwe na shida so ya yeah, airport ni place moja tricky sana na either unaweza unaweza deportiwa same day ama kuna watu wengine huwa wanakaishwa hapa hivi um, kuna place kuna kwa detention for for a minute watu wengine wanakonga detained for two weeks wengine one month unaweza taftiwa ata uh, judge one kesi yako inafanana aje so depending na vile utajitetea yeah but eh ukiamua uendi uendi so kuna vile unaweza jitetea but um make sure the first thing unafanya ni ku keep your information the same way yeah ku keep your information the same way vile ulisema pale kwenye embassy Nairobi ya yeah. una baridi hapa hivi sauti yangu imeshrink <laughs> sauti yangu imeisha ya yeah. sauti yangu imeisha bana nimetoka event hapa Boston Boston nime realize ni place poor wa Kenya wako wengi sana ya yeah. so ni place moja iko home uh, cha chenye nilikuwa ilikuwa na watu kama 100 hivi ya yeah. na ni u kuna other many ch- Kenyan churches up Boston ni kama Seattle iko na watu wengi pia lakini Seattle of course ni mama yao <laughs> so so Boston is one of the, a good place i don't know about this airport but najua airport yetu inakuanga tricky pale inakuanga strict because ni safe heaven yeah hiyo ni ndege yetu inameitwa So very soon nitakuwa napanda ndege naenda Seattle. So keep it locked ndani ya Kenya Marekani. Thank you for your support for 2023. Hopefully 2024 tutakuwa naoletea content mob. Yeah. Ana vile niko na majacket cuz hapa hali ya anga ni ingine. So yeah. Mimi nakuombea ukikuja America utadipotiwa bwana auta dipotiwa utakuja ukae hapa ukule mema ya nchi hmm? na eventually utapata passport ya America ya yeah. ya yeah. in process but uh, i think i'll tell you the process to become a US citizen was 2023 i became a US citizen no was it 2023 or 2022 sikumbuki hata ya yeah and i already applied for the passport katoka yo so i have a passport you have two types of passports but anyway story for another day so keep it dari mkenya marekani utakapokuja america hautadipotiwa utakuja ukae na sisi na upatane na mkenya marekani umsalimie umnunulie chai kwa sababu alikumotivate bonus fee keep it ndani ya mkenya marekani the place to be god bless you